Hey, what's up? Kayoni here, K Grizzly, the Grizzly Bear Life is back. Uh, it's been a while since I put out a video. Last video I think I put up was First Form Grizzly Bear Life Summer Smash, which was by far the most epic event that I've ever attended. Probably the most epic weekend I will ever, ever encounter until next year. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure next year will be freaking phenomenal. So a big shout out to Andy, Sal, uh, Tyler, Brian, uh, Cody, everybody from Will, Jake, all the behind the scenes guys. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. That was phenomenal. Like I, it's been it's, that was over what over a month ago, and people are still buzzing about it. So big shout out to you guys. I love where I love where the movement is going. I love what you guys are bringing to the table. So. Shout out to all my Legion of Boom fam. Love y'all. So with that being said, Summer Smash had a huge impact on me. Um, meeting a lot of people, people sharing stories, swapping stories, life experiences. Um, listening to the athletes, listening to Andy, Andy pouring his heart out to everybody. That was huge. Um, really, really came across how much you guys care how much everybody cares and why we're all part of this movement. So with that being said, I remember it was, I do believe it was Amy. I think Johnny touched on it a little bit and Andy all brought out the point that you never know who your story is going to impact. You never know. And so they said, don't be afraid to be yourself. Share your story. You never know who you're going to touch. You never know who you're going to encounter, who may come across your profile, your Instagram, your YouTube, whatever. So with that being said, I think it's time that I came clean about some things. Um, many of you guys have heard my story um, from me losing both my grandmothers. Uh, one was fighting cancer. The other one had been sick for a very long time. Um, the whole uh, getting kicked out of the house, seeing eye to eye with my father, losing my job, all of that. Um, yes, those were very, very rough times, very dark periods of my life. Um, but uh, I've recovered. Um, I bounced back a little bit. But with that being said, these may have been rough times but by far not my darkest hour. Um, it's it's hard for me to even, even talk about this because this is something I've kept in the dark and in the shadows for so long from so many people because I was afraid how people would react. I, I, I still don't know how people would react and I'm weary about posting this um, because of the bad stigma that comes along with this. So... But like I said, you never know who you're going to impact. You never know who you're going to touch. So with that being said, five years ago this month, 2000, August 2010, I was diagnosed with the beginning states of schizophrenia. Now, before we go any further, let me get things straight. This is not a multiple personality disorder. This is a disorder where uh, oftentimes paranoia kicks in. Um, you see and you hear things that aren't really there. And to this day, I still have uh, things that, that kind of freak me out from it. Um, I kind of I kind of lost touch of reality at, at a time period in my life. Uh, I didn't really know what was real, what was really there, what wasn't. Um, if the people I was talking to were really there, if things that were happening were really happening. Um, until one day, um, 5150, um, I was pretty much put on lockdown. I, um, long story short, I went, I went in handcuffs. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't go down without a fight. Um, so cat was out of the bag. Um, something wasn't right up in my head. And that right there was a huge, huge pill for me to swallow. My whole life, I'd always been very healthy. I had a strong immune system. If I got sick, it was a cough and a runny nose for maybe a day. And I've been healthy as a horse. And then one day they tell me, you're not right up here. 
and there's nothing you can do about it. How did that make me feel? The man or the kid who was always seen as a superman, a big brother, a role model, to say, hey, this pillar of strength has a crack in it. That hit me so hard. And it took me forever to get help. Even after getting out of the hospital, it took me forever to put, be put on medication because I was too strong. I was too hard-headed to accept the fact that I needed help. It, didn't, it took nearly, I think, a year, year and a half for me to actually start taking medicine and then had the trial and error to find ones that actually worked. It was tough. It was hard. And for those who've seen the episodes of me freaking out, I apologize, but I also thank you for not losing faith in me, for holding my hand and giving me strength and encouragement when I needed it most. So thank you. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my friends. It was scary for all of us. Very scary. Like I said, still there's things that, that still freak me out. Um, reflective surfaces, um, the darkness, <laughs> shadows, things that catch the corner of my eye, they still freak me out because I don't know if there's really something there or if my mind's playing tricks on me. So with that being said, this is part of why I love fitness so much. You guys have heard me say it keeps me sane, it keeps me out of trouble because really it does keep me sane. It gives me a clear mind. It gives me focus. It gives me purpose. It allows me to help people. It always opened up an avenue for me to help people and focus on other people rather than myself and what's going on up here. So with that being said, please, <laughs> this doesn't change the person I am. If I had never, ever told you this or came out and open about this, you would never know. You would never have any idea that there was anything different about me up here than maybe you. One out of every four people suffers from a mental illness. Whether it's schizophrenia, whether it's bipolar, whether it's depression, anxiety. I guarantee you probably about 90% of those people will not even admit that they have a problem. So this is here admitting that there was something wrong with me and that I needed help. scary but that's life so with that being said I, I pray that my story um, may help reach out to somebody somebody who may be suffering from something and I want you to know that my door is open my inbox is open my email whatever if you're struggling with something and you need help you can hit me up and I'll do whatever I can to help you. Because I know that if I would have had somebody on the inside earlier, I would have gotten through this a lot faster. So if you need help, hit me up. I got your back. With that being said, three fingers to you guys. Let's keep faith in ourselves. Let's focus on our future. Push through these problems. Keep your eyes on the prize. And for sure, don't forget to flex. Because that's all we're going to be doing when we make it. I'll see you guys on the other side.